An idea brought me awake one morning. I almost didn't write it down. What if a mosquito sucked the blood of a dinosaur 100 million years ago? The insect is then covered in tree sap, which, over the millennia, is preserved perfectly. Wouldn't the dinosaur blood be preserved as well? This brown pellet at the bottom of this tube is an ancient DNA sample. We were planning to conquer time's power over life, its power to extinguish and erase. It would change all our lives as profoundly, as irrevocably, as the atomic bomb. By 1989, international genetic technologies had succeeded in their design to genetically recreate the dinosaurs. We gained all of this knowledge, and we gained this group of people who think a special way, not just designers, but innovators and ecologists, environmentalists, scientists. We've got all these resources. It would be irresponsible not to do it. Only these people could transform his abstract notion into three-dimensional reality. Most people thought it was crazy to build some kind of a big park like that way down there where nobody could get to it. I spared no expense. Costa Rican contractors had to be transported, fed, housed, and afterwards bound to silence. It was a beehive of activity. Here was something bold and exciting. An expansion plan that included hotels, shopping centers, and water parks. He could convince you that this was going to be the greatest thing that ever happened. And then afterward, the hypnotic spell would wear off, and you'd say, well, no. What if this fails? What if the people don't like it? What if, what if it's too far away? What if they can't afford it? And he said, I'm scared. And he was. This is what worry is. In 1989, the park was nearly complete. Our investors demanded on-site approval. And I, idiotically as it now turned out, believed we were ready. The debacle of August 27th, 1989 is now quite well known. The we problem we experience only due, I might say, to sabotage. Ah, 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 you didn't say the magic word. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. I'm sure you've heard the rest of the story on the television news or in the tabloids. Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. People have come up and make dinosaur noises to me when I'm standing <laughs> in the checkout line. Does anyone have a question that does not relate to Jurassic Park or the incident in San Diego, which I did not witness? Jurassic Park is frightening in the dark. Do you remember when we were in the Jeep and the T-Rex attacked us? Weren't you scared it was going to eat us? Okay, we've got a great show for you. Aerosmith is here. The scientists want to stop. I'm the voice of um, reason and conscience about the way that science and the power of technology can be used um, without morality. Well, a hero of our times. Thank you, yeah. You're a dinosaur man. That's right. I am the dinosaur man. I'm also uh, kind of a playful flirt. I really hate that man. Creation is an act of sheer will. Next time, it'll be flawless. The de-extinct creatures who once inhabited Isla Nublar emerge across the country. All my life, I waited for something great, something extraordinary. The genie was out of the bottle. These creatures require our absence to survive, not our help. And if we could only step aside and trust in nature, life will find a way.
Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. What happened at the place where the world changed? What were the reasons? What was the cost? <laughs>